So, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in Easter week across Canada. And what are people talking about, do you think? Donald Trump? Maybe. Uh, the Edmonton Oilers player getting his 50th goal? The uh, start of the baseball season? Yeah, but th this story is, is breaking across Canada and it'll probably be the most bizarre story you'll hear from the Great White North this month. According to CBC Montreal, a group of parents have filed a $1.5 million lawsuit after a Quebec teacher was accused of selling students' artwork online. Now, these students discovered their classroom artwork selling for more than $100 on the teacher's website, including cups and uh, what, what they call prints. Now, most of the artwork, uh, according to Sabrina Jones, Kawaba Odura, and Erica Morris of CBC News, this was... Uh, again, uh, from 10 young students at West Westwood Junior High School in St. Lazare, Quebec, an off-island suburb west of Montreal. Now, the filing in the lawsuit for $1.575 million, or $155,000 per plaintiff, plus punitive damages against the teacher, Mario Pano and the Lester B. Pearson School Board, LP, LBPSC, for alleged copyright infringement. Now, the information I provided has not been proven in court, civil or otherwise, so it's as a public service. Now, Edith, Edith Liard, one of the parents representing the lawsuit, filing Quebec Superior Court uh, last Friday, said the incident turned their daughter off the idea of becoming an artist. My daughter loves art, always has been into art, and this year after everything happened, she said to me, I don't think I'll do art next year, uh, she said. I was so surprised because she always been artsy at home before school, and she actually picked Westwood because of her art program. Now, Joel de, de Bellefeuille, another parent representing the lawsuit, says while the amount of money sought might seem outrageous, it represents the scale of intellectual property infringement that took place. Now, some people are saying this might be a precedent case because you're, you're taking information from a public or private school and making it public for monetary profit. See, we requested 5000 per artwork that was infringed, he said, saying there were 31 pieces of plagiarized merchandise per student. Statutory damages range from 500 to 20000 per work under Canada's Copyright Act. Now, according to the lawsuit, Parron assigned his 96 students a project called Creepy Portrait in January, which students drew a portrait of a classmate or themselves inspired by the style of artist Jean-Michel Basquet. The students submitted their projects in February and were shocked to stumble upon their classroom artwork being sold after finding their art teacher's website. Now, most of the portraits look like kind of a combination of uh, French Expressionism and Night Gallery posters uh, and artwork from the 70s. Now, on the website, Website, the students found their creepy portraits available for purchase as prints, as well as emblazoned on coffee mugs, t shirts, and cell phone cases, with some items listed for as much as $174. Here we are in a digital age where families and parents are there to scrutinize everything that kids are looking at, but who would have thought that it should have been the parents scrutinizing the teacher? De, de Bellefeuille said. Now, uh, just look at this individual. Like I said, he looks like a person that basically looks like a ripoff artist. Because I wouldn't buy a used car for anybody who looks like that. Because he looks creepy. Now, in addition to the money, the lawsuit states a group of parents is asking for a written apology from Pano, the removal of the student's artwork from all websites, and a report of any sales made in connection with the plagiarized works. It will teach them a lesson because they broke our trust. The teacher broke the trust of the parents to teach the students, said Laird. Now, prior to filing the lawsuit, Laird and De, de Bellefeuille says parents had sent the LP, LBPSB, a demand letter making some requests. And of course, the, the two respondents says, when I'll acknowledge. The teacher and the school board now have two weeks to respond to the lawsuit. In an email Sunday, the LBPSB told CBC News it does not comment on internal investigations or human resources issues. Last month, the school board said it was investigating and was taking the allegations seriously. CBC was unable to reach out to the teacher as previous methods of contacting him were unavailable. The teacher did not respond to requ repeated requests for interview last month. Now, this is a very fluid situation, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, as we like to say in the uh, media business, you rip me off, you got you to gotta pay for it. And from what I've seen on the website, again, it looks like a good class project 
that was uh, ripped off. So uh, take it as you will. Anyway, with this uh, story, it's ongoing. Give us a like, comment, subscribe, or share. But I've never seen an art story in Canada break so quickly. That's what everybody was talking in my section of New Brunswick this we this weekend. Carlton County, because it's well known for their artists and musicians and writers and book publishers. This is something that could be a very heavy precedent case. So as we like to say in the Looney Tunes, stay tuned.